It is a beautiful day, gamers. Welcome back. New Rage of the Abyss uh, releases, drops, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the video just ended. The live stream literally ended like not even like 10 minutes ago. And I'm making this video right now to give you my full thoughts on the Mimigul support we are getting in Rage of the Abyss, starting with the card you see right here, immediately in front of us, Mimigul Armor. We're going to go over all of them apart from Mimigul Charm, which has already been announced, revealed, and appears to be only okay. Um, but everything else in this set, apart from like two cards, is really good. It gives the deck an end boss, um, a, a game plan, it has things that you don't require, you are no longer required exactly to play Shifter, but still allows you to do so either way. So let's go ahead and get started with the first card, Mimigul Armor, the first card revealed. Um, this card is all, as with all of them, are level 1 Earth Monsters with all the different types, I believe. Let me quickly double check, no spoilers. Yep, Fairy, Aqua, Rock. Yep, okay. All of the other ones, apart from the Xyz monsters, are all different types, meaning that this is definitely a There Can Be Only One deck, a Teak Boo deck uh, in and of itself. <clears throat> Mimical Armor states, if it is the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. This turn, flip, flip. This turn, Mimical Monster cannot be destroyed by battle. Give this card, give control of this card to your opponent. This card is fine. Um, the main reason why we'd utilize this in the first place is this is that if this card is searched or already in your hand, and your opponent controls a monster, you can special this card on the field, allowing for easy access to further Xyz material. Um, this allows for a lot of different plays, where you can utilize more than one uh, Xyz monster. If you have multiple Mimigools, you can rank up into those, um, and armor being a free extender off of that, if you already search it, off of dungeon, and you already have a monster, that's great, that's wonderful. This card is what you want for that, and I think that's really good. Um, but other than that, its effect is fine. It has the highest attack stat out of, it has one of the higher attack stats out of the new releases of main deck monsters. So this being a 2100 beater, um, is second to, uh, is third in main decks to Master and Dragon. Dragon being 25, this being 21, and Master being 3k in total. So, that's a lot to go ahead and say there. Next, we have the second monster, Mimical Fairy. If it's the main phase, apply these effects in sequence. This turn, you cannot activate the effects of monster specimen from your hand. This card, cute, but f only really fine. Um, and then also during your main phase, special this card from your hand to your opponent's field and face up defense position. Or if you control a Mimical Monster, special this card face up on your, on your field. Allowing for another extension if you are already controlling a Mimical Monster itself. Um... I like it, this being able to go into link plays if you simply have only master, normal master, master effect, add fairy, fairy effect, um, special summon itself, go into a link too. You could do that, but not really the card you want to be doing exactly. Um, yeah, this card uh, is probably the worst out of all of them, I think. Well, it's it's in a tie with armor. Both of these two monsters are meant to be further extenders that allow for you to gain things later. Um, but I'm not entirely certain if they work out to be uh, the the absolute best. Um, you need them. You need these cards, and having more names is always good. But the real creme de la creme of main decks is Mimigul Slime. Level 1, Earth, Aqua, Flip, 40, 400, 500. This one only having 900 attack stat is Wimpy, alongside with Fairy. Um, probably having 200 total. But your opponent, you can, if it's the main phase, uh, apply this effect in sequence, your opponent gets special summon a Mimigul monster from their deck to their field. Holy, this gets you Dragon off of any way you're able to flip it up. Um, this gets you Master, if you'd like. Um... And then give his control itself to the opponent, of course. During your main phase, you can special this card from your hand to your opponent's field face up the defense position. Or, if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card face up on your field. Meaning that it is sort of a, like, pank effect. Um, being able to bring itself out. This is a really good, another main deckable Mimigul uh, monster that you want to have control of. Um, setting up with the dungeon lock, this is another card you want to get off Maker, um, and any of these options that you get off of this, um, off Dragon, this, uh, Archfiend, and maybe a Fairy or Armor, depending on how well you're willing to feel and willing to play, and I think Cerberus at this point has become somewhat almost fully obsolete. 
Um, but your the main thing is that these are the only three three main deck monsters, and this wave of support for them seems to be pretty good. I really like slime. I really like the idea of having more options to special itself out, um, allowing for further plays. But the main thing you want to go into is the Xyz monsters. We're going to start with Throne, which I think is one of the strongest. It requires specifically two level one Mimigul monsters. You can attach one material from this card, special summon Master from Hand, Deck, or Graveyard. Oh my god. So what this gives you is now Master is free Link material whenever you would like on your turn. You can bring out Master, Master Effect, activate itself, grab a Mimigul monster, uh, and then link it off with either your Cash Tira that you have the special summon off of birth with a Unicorn, go into a Link 2, set that, and then if, you have if you're have if you able to go into Throne at all, you're able to go ahead and bring this card out. Oh, oh it feels so good. It's so, it's so cool. And with this being an Xyz monster, um, and the Xyz monsters being able to be utilized with uh, ones, you can, um, uh, there are some cases where you might want to use either Throne or Giant Mimigul, which we'll get to in a moment, with some of the Armor Xyz cards. Um, currently, the, the deck that I play is mostly meant of Link Summoning, and having some Xyz is pretty good as another option. These two are definite inclusions as one-ofs in the extra deck. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about that, uh, continuing on. Um, during the main phase, quick effect, you can target one Mimigul Master you control. Uh, equip this card to his equip spell that gives it a thousand attack. Then you can turn cards from the field to the hand up to the number of materials this card had. So if you have, it, you would normally only do it with two. Immediately, one, bring out Master, uh, from deck. <laughs> And then Master can activate whenever and then set another monster onto your opponent's field. And then you can make them Master have those monsters flip face up, come to your field. Then you can Throne, bounce back, whatever you want, back to their field. And it does not, uh, then it does not target those return, those bounces. A non-targeting bounce on Throne, mwah, beautiful. This card is so good. Oh my gosh. Um, so that is that is like exactly, this is something the deck really needed was a way to really um, go further beyond with these plays. And I think Throne centering Master as a, as a really good controlled one of is really good now. Um, but it also makes Master a big target, meaning that if it at any ways banished, it's not great. So playing it under Shifter is not as... Um, recommended anymore because there's no way for it to get out during the it's only from hand to deck or graveyard um that being said still really good and you really want to go ahead and get the bonus effects off the traps in graveyard you just can play shifter but the support doesn't help with that as much now for the final big Xyz, giant mimigul this requires two level one monsters generic oh how interesting. Your non Xyz Mimical monster can attack directly while this opponent controls a face down monster. This means that you have. Um, this is Mimigul Mizen. If you don't know, I'm a big fan of Ninja, and so having Ninjas also being able to attack directly is like a big factor for finishing out games, and Giant Mimigul feels like that immediately. I love that. This being a 13 12, 2, uh, 13 2K makes this monster on. You're on the next turn uh, with Dungeon, a 3,300 attacker. Um, very powerful stats to get over. There are no quick effects with this card, um, but we'll go ahead and let you know what else is happening. If this card is Xyz Summon, you can add a Mimigul card from your deck to your hand. You can attach one material of this card to target face down, face up cards on the field, up to the number of face down monsters your opponent controls, destroy them, and if you do inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each card destroyed. This is meant to be a finisher after setting all of your opponent's monsters. This is meant to be the thing that chases them, de that chases them down in the dungeon, kills them, and sends them uh, to the graveyard. Now, to be of important note for Teakbu, Giant Mimigul and Mimigul Throne are both rock monsters. Meaning that Mimigul Throne is probably something you want to be able to utilize um, after you take care of. Uh, you you want to be able to go through Throne first uh, and get out Master, and then Quick Effect put itself as an equip spell under uh, Master and bounce your stuff back, and then eventually you want to also get the Giant Mimigul in order to hit face hard. Um, and then finally, other than Mimigul Charm, which if you don't know, uh, Mimigul Charm, I'll just, I'll just pull up the card in a moment. I didn't even bother screenshotting it. It was, let me go ahead and Mimigul Charm, Yu-Gi-Oh! Images, get the card out. 
we'll just pull out like this. We'll just get like there we go. We'll just go open image a new tab. You you do it live here, folks. Um, this one. Once per chain during the main phase of Mimical Monster, your opponent controls flip face up. Randomly choose one car, far, face down card in their opponent's extra deck. Shuffle it if, you want, if it can be a monster that's special summon, special summon to your field. Can I activate this turn? If it wasn't or couldn't, special summon, that ba special summon banish that card. Only effect twice per turn. Um, it's not exactly what the deck needed. Um, it's not great, but uh, it's still fine. Um, you want to go for more things other than the extra deck rip with Charm. You'd rather have a targeted one with Unicorn rather than Charm being the um, one that is random. And you could also get locked into various things. For instance, with Promethean Princess, because these are all Earths. Very difficult, very uh, problematic. Um, but still, it is a fine card. I don't think I want to go ahead and get it. Um, and the last card that I think is really impactful is actually Mimigul Fork. It is a new spell card. This card says, target one face-down monster your opponent controls. Your opponent chooses one of the following effects, and you apply that effect. Change it to face attack or defense position, or send it to the graveyard, and then its owner draws two cards. You can base a card from your graveyard and a fork from your deck to your hand. Now, this card, what this does is it turns every single one of uh, your Mimigul's into D-Draw? Uh... Yeah, yeah, D draw and allows for quite a bit of like you know plussing, um, and the fact that they don't want to be able to go ahead and do that means you get two extra bodies to send through. I just, oh, man, I, I, they'd really hit the the nail on the head with this design because it's either a, uh, it's either a, it either cycles two. um, or it it just sets up your plays for them to turn after and pluses you afterwards. Beautiful stuff. Really like it. Um, really good, especially if it is a monster you really don't care to put on there. For instance, you want to fork, bring out, uh, bring over either uh, fairy or slime, and then slime just gets sent to grave. Whatever you get to draw two, you get to plus yourself even further. I love it. I love this new Mimigul support. I think that it's going to go ahead and have a big impact on the further uh, the rogue deck overall. I hope. I'm hopeful that this will actually go ahead and make this deck tiered. Right now it is very rogue, very low rogue, but is very easily able to um, play underneath uh, with a lot of the different hand traps. This gives the deck a very solid game plan, very good support. I really like it a lot, and I'm really glad that you all stuck around, watched, and enjoyed. Let me know what your brews are in the comments down below, and uh, I can't wait to go ahead and show you further plans for what the Memical cards can do um, in the next set. Uh, yeah! Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and uh, have a good one. See you.